Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making spaghetti and meatballs. It's back to school and so I'm looking for delicious, easy recipes that are big on flavor. I'm starting with a pound of lean ground beef. The ground beef is definitely the star of the show. And I just wanna tell you, these aren't any ordinary meatballs. These are light and fluffy and tender. I can honestly say that I've never had any better. And I've been to some very nice Italian restaurants and these always come out on top. Now I've added my pound of ground beef and before I start adding my other items, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a little love. I've got a good pinch of kosher salt, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, and I've got two cloves of minced garlic, and that's going right in. Now, if you don't wanna to go to the trouble to mince your garlic, then by all means, use powdered garlic. Use about a teaspoon per garlic clove. Now comes the rest of the ingredients. I've got three eggs that's going in this meatball recipe. The eggs are one of the things that causes this to be tender and fluffy. Now, I'm adding a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I like to grate my own. I just think it's better. It adds a lot of flavor, but you know, I wouldn't turn my nose up at the green can. It's delicious in recipes. It's got that salty, briny flavor. Really good. Now I'm adding something that's not typical in meatballs. This is panko breadcrumbs. The texture is unsurpassed. These are light and crispy, and they create a fluffy texture that's so good. And last, I have a half of a cup of heavy cream. Yes, you heard me right, heavy cream. If you're not comfortable with using the heavy cream, you can definitely use whole milk. I would not use anything less than whole milk because you need that fat content. Now, I'm gonna gently fold these ingredients together. This looks perfect. If you find that your mixture doesn't have the same consistency as this, then don't be afraid to add a little bit more heavy cream or milk. It should be nice and wet, just like you see here. And make sure that you don't ever mix. Now, I'm gonna show you an easy way to put these together. I'm putting these in my saute pan, but I'm not going to saute them. We're actually gonna bake these meatballs in the oven. I have an ice cream scooper, and I'm just gonna take this and put it right in. Anytime I make spaghetti and meatballs, it's a good night at our house. Our whole family loves them. Look at these. They look and smell delicious and they haven't even cooked yet. Now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and these are going in for about 20 minutes. I just want them to set up. That way when I add my sauce to them, they're not going to fall apart. Now if you're going to make a smaller meatball, then lessen your cooking time. So in the oven they go and I'll see you back here in a few. Look at these beautiful meatballs. Y'all, the house smells amazing. That's all I can say. You don't even have to tell them dinner's ready. They will come running when they smell these cooking. They're that good. Now, let me show you something before I go to the next step. Look at all of the beautiful juices. They've just basically set up. They're pretty much cooked. You could eat them just like they are, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. 
I'm using a jarred sauce. Use any of your favorite marinara. It is back to school, so I'm going easy. And I'm just gonna pour this right over the top. Now, depending on how saucy you like these, add one to two jars. Now, what I'm gonna do is cover these and I'm going to let them simmer on a low heat. I've got my pasta going over here. So by the time my pasta is ready, these are going to be perfect. Will you look at this beautiful sight? Just gonna top this pasta. I just think that this is a sight to behold. I love spaghetti and meatballs. Can you tell? Well, that is ready to go. I've got the garlic bread in the oven. One for me. I cannot let this moment pass by without tasting this. I know it's gonna be delicious. A little bit of Parmesan cheese right over the top. Mm, yum. Now, let's see how we did. I want you to see how soft this is. To me, that's what makes the best meatball. You don't want it tight and dense. You want it nice and soft and pillowy. Now, let's see how the flavor is. It doesn't get any better than this. You've got to try this recipe. It's so full of flavor. It's meaty and just absolutely delicious. And I tell you what, if you have any leftovers, which is pretty doubtful, these make a delicious meatball sub. Mm -hmm. Maybe some meatball sliders for tailgating. You know that's gonna be good. Well, you're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Give this recipe a try. Like this video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time.